Hello and welcome to GTA Excel Tech. I'm going to be showing you how to use True Crypt. So basically what we're going to do is first we're going to create a volume. And then create an encrypted file container. Standard. Select the file. Location. And I'm going to reside it on my one terabyte hard drive. I'm just going to name it. I'll make a new folder first. New folder. Um, containers. And I'm going to put one save next now I'm just gonna keep it with this next and I'm going to set it to let's see how much can fat three store fat 32 I think it's 4 gig. I'm not sure. So you gotta make sure. <sighs> 4 gig. It is correct. 4. Next. Well, it's right on 4 gig. So I guess 3.5. Now. Oh. 3.5 of 2 megabytes. I don't want to do the math. Three five eight four. Next. Now this is where you're going to create a password. New. Container 1. put my one terabyte hard drive just so you guys cannot see the password paste paste click next file system we're just gonna leave it at that All right I'm gonna click Actually, yeah. Leave it at that and we're going to click Format. But first, what you got to do is you got to do... You got to spin this around like that. Mouse as randomly as possible. And then click Format. And then what you'll do is you'll let it format. And that's how you do that, basically. And then once it's done formatting... See, once it's done formatting, which, you know, will take a little bit of time, we'll then go into the container. And we can then, um, in there. That's how, that's how it works. So let's see, refresh. We should have containers up here now. Which I don't think will off the bat, but there we go. And then you'll see it, the file being made, number one. And then see right there, it's being made. It's being made, and it's almost done. So that's how you do that. And then, what you'll do is you'll be able to have your own drive. Like, see this drive right here? You'll be able to have your own drive. 
I'll show you how to do that here in a second. We gotta wait for it to do its thing. And then it won't take that long. So that's how it is, you know, it won't take that long. And then notice how that this will turn gold when you're using it, basically. So that's how it is. It's really nice. You can go into properties of it, which I don't know what it'll do, but it basically tells you stuff. It's really nice. I like it. I really do. Select the device, you have volume tools. You can even change the password. Right. Set header, add and remove key files, backup, restore. Let's see if it's almost done. It's almost done. It's at 66%. So we'll wait for it. Okay, guys. When it's done, then we'll be able to continue from there. And yes, I should change my background. So while, while it's doing that, let's change the background. You know, I mean, might as well do something productive while it's changing the background. Desktop background. Backgrounds. What background do I want? I should go download some more backgrounds. I'm just saying. I really do. Need to download some more backgrounds. Yeah. I don't see any I like like really but you know that I really use um well that banana one um <laughs> that orange Linux now save changes there my background has been changed sorry for this computer being slow it's really you know it does a lot of stuff uh huh but I finally actually changed my background in how many years? Let's check the torrenting. How's this going? Uh huh. It's just statistics. Okay. This, okay, right there. This is what will pop up. The true crypt volume has been created successfully. So then you'll go back into here and then it'll say if you want to create a new one. If not, click exit. So then what you do is you will then click on one of these that you want I'm going to use Y for YouTube and then what we're going to do is we're going to click select file will it use to um, let's try S select file I don't know if you can mount multiple ones at once that's why I'm wondering <laughs> you know and then we'll go into my, my We'll go into where we have it. Containers. One. And then mount. And that's where we type in the password. And then. There we go. It is now mounted. Now we go into computer. And then there we go. We have ourselves a disk. Right there. And we can rename it. What do I want to rename it? <coughs> I'm going to re rename it um, Secure Files. Whoa. I guess that's as far as it will let you re name on um, that. There you go. So now I have another drive. So that's how you do it. And then to make that disappear, or to dismount it, you will click on it and click Dismount. And then notice how it disappeared. It acts. That's what it acts like. And it's really, really cool. So that's how you use TrueCrypt. Um, you can also encrypt um, entire hard drives and flash drives, which is really cool. Now for the um, for this my hexer drive that runs on a file that's run on a bit locked flash drive, which is really, really cool. <laughs> so that's how that works. Um, I don't know why that re did that. I thought I unmounted it. But it looks like that locked up. But that is basically how you um, use TrueCrypt. Thanks for watching, guys.